I'm going to challenge myself to build a Lego set every single day. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's way too easy. Okay, then. What, what do you suggest? Well, how about we add some challenges? Um, sure. Any ideas? Well, you got to put together, let's say, 15,000 pieces and collect, I don't know, 90 minifigures. That's two a day. 15,000? Oh, no, but also you can't just build Star Wars sets. So let's say you've got to hit 12 different Lego themes and at least three sets that aren't currently on sale. 12? I don't think I can name 12 Lego themes. If you mess up on any of these challenges, you have to give away three brand new copies of the sets in this video. Sure, sure. Okay, well, I better get started. Starting small for day one, I grab this Arctic set which comes with this explorer who can hop on a snowmobile and head out into the wilderness to photograph some seals. On day two, I picked up this Harry Potter set. Now, I don't build many Harry Potter sets, but this came together really nicely and was a really fun build. You have an underwater section with Ron and Hermione in chains, and an upper podium where Harry can dive in and rescue Ron. And Victor Crumb can attempt to do the same with his shark transformation. Returning to my favorite theme for day three, I built an even bigger set, the Death Star Trash Compactor Diorama. Now, this one had a ton of tiling. The first half of the build was pretty much entirely these flat tiles. You then build the back wall, as well as the two sides that come together to flatten the main cast. From one Harrison Ford character to another, I spend the next few days building Indiana Jones sets, starting with this two Tomb set on day 4, this fighter plane chase set on day 5 which comes with this small car and this awesome World War 2 plane which I've got to say is pretty epic. And finishing with the big diorama from the Raiders of the Lost Ark. I've got to say across the board Lego smashed it with these Indiana Jones sets but that diorama is just majestic. Oh my goodness, so I was about to fall asleep and I suddenly remembered I haven't built a Lego set yet. I have about 15 minutes or so till midnight so yeah let's go crack open a small one and get it built so we don't fail this challenge. I grabbed this small X-Wing poly bag and I was actually surprised with how good this came together and most importantly it means we haven't failed just. Yet. Using a new force building technique that I learned on day 8, I built this 501st battle pack and whilst this one is cool, it will never be as good as its predecessor. And on day 9, I ventured into the world of Jurassic Park with this awesome Triceratops set which comes with a jeep and I think a first for Lego, a giant pile of poop. Whilst watching TV in my living room on day 10, I built this James Bond Aston Martin. And skating in on day 11, I bought and built this brand new skate park from the Lego City line and I spent the rest of the day learning some tricks and shredding on all of these jumps and rails. Now I've been spending a lot of money on sets so far so I decided to build a free set on day 12 which was this gift with purchase Lego moving truck. This is an awesome set, you can fit a ton of different art and musical instruments and other bits in the back and I think it's perfect for any Lego city. And then on day 13 I thought I'd do something different so I grabbed this small Land Rover set, hopped in my Land Rover and drove somewhere cool to find the best place to build this. We pulled up in this field with this pretty decent view and I quickly built up this tiny little set. Now I absolutely love Land Rover so this set was perfect for me. And so of course it was only fitting on the next day to build this Lamborghini set in my Lego room. Yeah, that's right. I can't afford a Lamborghini after I spend so much money on videos like this, but we built this cool set and I definitely can't complain. Speed Champions are some of the best LEGO sets. With two weeks done now, we are just under halfway done with the challenge, but we've only just hit 5,000 pieces, so we're going to have to up our game a little bit and grab some bigger sets for the second half. And also, we're nowhere near hitting our minifigure goal, so it's time to start grinding. At the end of the second week and the start of the third, I headed into the world of one of my favorite franchises, Avatar, building all of the sets from the first movie, starting with the Banshee flight on day 15, the mech set on day 16, followed by the mountain base on day 17 and the giant tree of souls to wrap it up on day 18. For me these sets do it all, they have fantastic minifigs, unique builds with awesome techniques and different styles. I can't wait to use these minifigures in an up and coming video where I'm going to build a giant battle from Avatar and many other movies. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that video when it drops. I would say if you just have to buy one of these Avatar 1 sets I would go with the Banshee Chase or the Mountain Base. These are both really awesome and iconic scenes from the first Avatar movie. But easing my way back into the Star Wars theme on day 19 with this small Star Wars Mandalorian battle pack. Fun fact this was actually the set that got me back into Lego, so it's kind of a historic one. However, on day 20, I was already missing the Avatar theme and decided to build this skin wing set. I can't wait to build more from Avatar 2. Now, I didn't want to just build sets that are on shelves at the moment, so I decided to grab this General Grievous Starfighter, which I've had sealed for ages and has really risen in price since it retired. So as soon as I break this seal, it's going to lose a ton of value, but I've got to do it. And honestly, it was a really, really enjoyable build. I've been waiting on this one for ages and I'm so glad I finally built it. Now, Airborne Trooper alone is worth it and you can't go wrong with a General Grievous minifigure. Although with this custom cape, you can take him to the next next level. Fancying a bit more dinosaur action on day 22, I built this small Jurassic World set. You get the iconic Velociraptor Blue and her baby and a cool truck as well. Following this, a theme I got really obsessed with last year was the Minecraft theme. And so for day 23, I had to crack open one of the newest sets, this End Arena set, where you can battle against another player and even drop them into lava. I pulled out another retired set for day 24, which is this Pisana Speeder Chase. As much as I don't like the sequels, this one was actually a fun build and surprised me a little bit. As long as you forget about the inclusion of Ray, the first order Stormtroopers are pretty cool. And I've got to say, I particularly like this little Sand Blue Speeder. And yep, you guessed it, 
we're back to Avatar on day 25. This is the Pycon set which comes with this small crab droid with the soldier piloting it. And of course, the giant Tolkoon himself, Pycon. He comes together nicely and can be posed on this piece of coral with a couple of little passengers clinging onto his fins for dear life. This, along with most of the Avatar sets, is super underrated in my opinion and I really do think they're all well worth their money. On day 26, I realised it was enough messing around with the smaller sets. If I wanted to hit the piece count and minifigure goals, I'd have to crack open a big boy. So for this, I grabbed the Marvel Sanctum Sanctorum. It's a set I've wanted to build forever and it was magnificent. The modular buildings are a great line of sets and this just intertwines perfectly with the superheroes. So much so that it's not officially a modular, but I would say it's probably one of the best modulars I've ever built personally. The angles to make the cool corner building looks fantastic. The colours really complement each other. Oh, and did I mention it comes with nine minifigures that you can set up a giant battle with? What more could you want? After such big build on the day before, on day 27, I didn't have much time, so I built this small Batman polybag. And sticking with the DC Batman theme, on day 28, I built the Batman tumbler. I'm not gonna lie, after finishing that tumbler, it may be not only one of my favourite sets from this month, but it may be one of my favourite sets of all time. It has the perfect blend of great minifigures, play features, a great scale to the vehicle and just some overall fantastic looking angles recreating an absolutely iconic vehicle i've got to say i would compare it to a speed champion set with the amount of techniques and cool detail they managed to pack into these it just is a bit scaled up and i just absolutely love that back to another new theme that we haven't done yet is lego sonic time now this set was great but it was slightly tedious as every single time you had to press together two one by one plates so it did get a bit tiring on the fingers but i've got to say it surprised me with how good it was you also get the small stand where you can track your progress as you go throughout the sets earning a gem with each bag you build Eggman is very very cursed in this set and the new minifigure version is much much better but the rest of the set is awesome I especially love this bridge section and the vibrant colors and here we are on day 30 and I've pulled out a pretty special set for this one it's the retired Kylo Ren shuttle now I bought this over a year and a half maybe two years ago at a Lego convention and there's an off chance that this potentially doesn't have any of the pieces or missing pieces and stuff because I was a bit unsure on whether it was actually sealed or not but I got a great deal so let's find out whether we've actually got the set in here <laughs> Okay, so it turns out I think I was worrying about nothing, so let's get building. As far as Star Wars vehicles go, they can be kind of repetitive, but this one really shone out to me. I think there was not a moment in this build that I felt bored, even though I had to recreate the same wing twice, and there was a lot of technic in the centre, which I don't particularly like. But otherwise, it came together to make a phenomenal looking set. You can arch the wings in and out, and I think it was a great way to wrap up this 30-day challenge. So let's take a look at all the different sets we managed to build during this challenge, and whether we managed to achieve all of our goals. So first, let's summarise. We built nine cars or land vehicles, two air vehicles, two mechs, six space vehicles, and an absolute ton of different animals in all different shapes and sizes. But how do we get on in the challenges? Well, if you saw the piece counter going up throughout the video, you'll know we hit the 15,000 goal with the Sonic set, and with that and the Kylo Ren shuttle, it took us to over 16,500 pieces. Minifigure wise, the goal was 90, and we hit this with just one minifigure to spare, coming in at 91 total. And I've got to say, it's such a cool variety of minifigures here. And speaking of variety, we managed to get a total of 13 LEGO themes, and of course, we didn't miss a single day, which means we succeeded in all of our challenges and this jumble pile you see is every single set we built from the 30 days apart from two can you name which ones aren't featured in this end screen here if you can guess let me know in the comments this was a heck of a grind so please subscribe we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and we're getting pretty close now but if you enjoy these time challenges i built a lego city in a week the other day so if you haven't seen that you might enjoy that one and i'll see you over there